Hey folks, Glenn here. I just want to uh, go through a little bit uh, about mastering and adding a master limiter to your mix. I'm using Audacity, a free audio editor. I'm using version 1.3.10 and uh, I've just been sent a, uh, a mix here from Neil Mack who I'm working with on a mix uh, of a uh, an original tune that he did called Made of Stone. Uh, pretty cool bluesy number and what I'm going to do is just uh, bring that into Audacity. I right click on the file and open with and Audacity and that brings the track in and by looking at the track I can see that there's no clipping so that's good and um, I also see that there are some peaks in the file which are more than uh, the average amount uh, in the file for instance this one here and here's another one here so what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, see what the average volume of this file is so I'm just gonna select just a you know a regular part of the file hit uh, effect go into left click amplify it wants to come up by 3.7 in order to get to zero cancel hit another part of the file this part of the file wants to come up 5.1 to get to zero and this one here this section wants to get to 3.5 to get to zero and uh, let's just take a look at this one 2.9 so about 3 DB so the average looks like it's about 3 DB to get to zero however uh, when we look at peaks for instance like uh, well, we'll take, select the whole file, left click on a blank space here, and we can select the whole file. Effect, left click, amplify, left click, and it, the whole file is only 0 0.3 below 0. So we cancel that, and let's find out what is 0 0.3 below 0, which is almost click, uh, clipping. So I'm going to select this part that's quite loud. I can see it's uh, quite big, and hit the plus sign that zooms in on that section and just left click and scroll across that and select it again plus sign and left click and scroll on that just to get the peak and there it is there you can see it's almost going over so if we look at it effect left click amplify left click 0 0.3 of a DB below 0 is all that is so what I want to do is I want to lower that peak so that it falls in line with what the rest of the average of that file is. So if I take my gain tool, amplify, and we lower it by 0 0.8 of a dB, that's less than 1 dB. And the reason why I do that is because the smallest amount of volume change that humans hear is 1 dB. So if I select 0 0.8 of a dB, that's less than 1, and it'll make it... Uh, um, very smooth in transition as far as any volume changes go won't be detectable by the human ear and I click OK and then I'm going to select a little larger area of the file like so and I'm going to repeat that last action by clicking Control R and that will reduce the gain by 0 0.8 of a dB as well and do it one more time Control R and now we'll see what our new peak is amplify and it's 2.7 to get to zero so it's right in the ballpark so we've lowered that clip now we're going to continue doing that for the the rest of the file and find all those little peaks that are above 3 db and any peaks that are above 3 db you want to find those and you want to get them down so they're approximately 3 db this one's only at 1.1 1 .1. so what i'm going to do is zoom in on it zoom in zoom in zoom in and left click drag that zoom in some more until i can see just the peak and there's that transit peak as you can see it almost hits zero go to effect left click go to amplify left click reduce the gain so it's below zero I want minus 0 0.8 of a DB minus 0 0.8 that brings our new peak down to minus 1.9 click OK I'm going to do that one more time on that peak click control R and that new peak now let's just see on the amplify tool wants to go 2.7 that's perfect 
And we'll do that now for the rest of the entire file. We'll find all the peaks and lower them all. And now, say we've uh, gone through all the different peaks, and what we're going to do is um, two things. We can, in order to save that amount of work, what we can do is Control D, and that'll duplicate my entire file for me. Control D. And now I can apply the master to just this file. This one has been tweaked and have the peaks released, so I, if I want, I can rename that on the track, and I can just call that reduced peaks and then if I need to get back to that file I can do that and that'll save it as so now I can mute that track and go down to this one and select the, the uh, file and then go to effect left click on it I'm gonna go down to my Kajar house master limiter and we're going to put the master limiter on this track to tame any of those peaks and it's also going to raise the overall uh, volume and perceived loudness of the track click on classic master limiter it's set by default for master CD setting and it raises the gain of the file by about 5 DB on that setting and what I'm going to do is click OK and that will raise the overall gain of this track by 5 DB so as we're waiting for that to process um, I just want to let you know that as we go through the uh, mastering process what we're doing is trying to get the peaks to be uh, lowered without uh, dropping them out completely because that does uh, add to the dynamics the transients um, do matter as far as audio content goes so you don't want to uh, delete all those peaks you just want to lower them and tame them so that it's not so hard on the on the uh, limiter so now you see that the limiting has been done and it's raised the file and by default it raises the file to just below zero so that there's no clipping but it makes it uh, as loud as it possibly can so if we select the entire file and then go to our uh, effect menu left click go to our amplifier uh, amplify tool and we're going to see what the new peak is just to show you and it shows that it's 0 0.2 of a db to get to zero which is almost hitting zero so I I'm what I'm going to do is lower the overall gain of that track so that we have some headroom in the file I'm gonna lower it by 2 DB and uh, what I like to do is lower it by 2 DB that brings my new peak now to minus 2.2 DB I click OK and that's going to make the whole file now so the peaks are only at minus 2.2 DB but it's raised the overall volume of the uh, track for instance, we'll just look at what the uh, RMS is of the old track, and I'll just select a, a portion of it here by zeroing in, go to a loud part of the track, select it, left click on effect. I'm going to go down to my uh, Voxengo span, and we're just going to uh, see what that looks like on the, uh, on the, uh, uh, on the meters and we end up with uh, an RMS of approximately 16 to 17 dB below zero and I'm going to cancel that I select the same one now on the on the limited track and let's see what it reads and it reads a lot louder that's uh, now minus 14 db which is right in the ballpark for a blues number for rms so there we go we now know that our rms has been boosted we're at about minus 14 db and we now have a mastered track so there we go and uh, that's a tune by neil mac made of stone